We are meeting at a time when materialism is under strain. We all have to work together to strengthen the support for multilateral cooperative frameworks to address the existential challenge of climate change. Like all small island states, Singapore is vulnerable to the effects of global warming. We strongly echo the, the call by many for action and collaboration. I have four suggestions on how we can strengthen the multilateral system of climate action. First, we need to faithfully implement our Paris commitments. Under the Paris agreements, we need to update our 2030 NDCs and communicate long-term low emission development strategies for 20, by 2020. Singapore will play our part. And we'll update our NDC and communicate our long-term low emission strategy soon. We'll also work with others to support the efforts of developing countries. Second, we need to complete the Paris Agreement work program. Article 6 is the last remaining piece to complete the rulebook. It's imperative that we adopt a credible, clear and co coherent set of rules to govern the effective use of international carbon credits to deliver higher ambition while ensuring environmental integrity. Paris Agreement requires a new paradigm around accounting for underlying emission reductions that are transferred internationally. And we should have clarity on how the concept of corresponding adjustments is operationalized. Third, we need effective action at the national level across all sectors and stakeholders. Singapore has implemented an economy-wide carbon tax as part of our mitigation strategy. Revenue will be used to fund emission reduction projects and help businesses overcome their resource and energy constraints. As we have limited access to alternative sources of energy, we will leverage long-term planning, innovation and international cooperation to mitigate our emissions. This includes adoption of a Zero Waste Master Plan and a Resource Sustainability Act to build a circular economy which will help to reduce our carbon footprint and complement our efforts to address climate change. We thank our, the Chilean Presidency for giving focus to four key areas energy, transport, agriculture and finance. Details on how Singapore is driving action in these sectors can be found in our uploaded national statements. And lastly, fourth, we need to strengthen our solidarity in the fight against climate change. We support a strong outcome on the review of the Warsaw International Mechanism to better support our efforts to minimize, avert and address loss and damage. Singapore is doing our part through the Southeast Asia Disaster Risk Insurance Facility to enhance pre-disaster planning. Singapore government will also put in place incentives and facilitate capacity development to ease the transition, build a climate resilient economy and allow our workforce to ease the trans to adapt to a low carbon future. To succeed our efforts in climate change, we need to work hand in hand with youth, businesses and civil organizations to co-create and co-deliver solutions. We are committed to collectively deliver a better and more sustainable future. Thank you.